Knoyuak Ashivak. Knoyuak Ashivak is a First Nations Inuit artist. She was born in an igloo in Ir Karasik Camp on South Baffin Island in Northern Canada. She grew up in nature, living a traditional, semi-nomadic hunting lifestyle. Her family lived in igloos and skin tents. As a young adult, she was diagnosed with tuberculosis and had to stay at a hospital for three years. There, she was introduced to arts and crafts. Art gave patients a way to express themselves and the hospital would help them to sell their work so they could have an income. Ashivak created images of the Inuit way of life. Her work included animals and people. Ashivak is one of the most well-known Inuit artists because of her famous print, The Enchanted Owl. It was featured on a postage stamp. Although best known as a graphic artist, she also carved, designed blankets, created a mural, and designed this stained glass window for the chapel of Appleby College in Oakville, Ontario. She loved owls. She created many owl designs. Her owls often had bright, bold feathers and came in many shapes. How are these owls the same? How are these owls different? Sometimes her owls included other animals and people. This piece is called the guardian owl. She once said, there is no word for art. We say it to transfer something from the real to the unreal. I am an owl and I am a happy owl. I like to make people happy and everything happy. I am the light of happiness and I am a dancing owl. Kenyuak Ashavak is an inspiring artist. Let's create our own owls. So today we're going to be drawing one of Keno Uak's owls. And for this lesson, you're going to need a black Sharpie marker. You're going to need your watercolor markers, a sheet of just white drawing paper. And I also have a sheet of paper underneath my drawing paper to protect my desk. So I'm going to first move these off to the side and I'm going to pick up my Sharpie marker. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center of my paper and I'm going to go up just a little ways and I'm going to on one side of my finger I'm going to make one eye and then I'm going to go to the other side of my finger and I'm going to make another eye. So I have two eyes. I can make them a little bit bigger and then I'm going to outline them. So I have my owl eyes. Now we're going to make our owl head. We're going to come underneath our owl and we are going to make a rainbow over the top of our owl. And now I can curve in and curve in a little bit. And we're going to make our owl body. So we're going to make a curve out, a curve out, and then we'll join them together. Kind of in a big smile or a big U. So now I have my owl's body. Let's come back up to our owl's face. Let's take and draw a curved line around one eye and a curved line around the other eye. It's kind of like it's wearing a mask. And now we have a beak. So our eye, owl is starting to look lovely. Let's give our owl some wings. We're going to take and we're going to make a rainbow shape. And then we're going to come underneath and make another rainbow shape and then curve them together. 
I'm going to come to the other side. I'm going to make a rainbow shape. I'm going to make another rainbow shape underneath and curve them together. Now our owl also needs some feet. Let's try making some feet now. Let's go ahead and we're going to take and draw one line, two lines, and then one, two, three triangles. Let's put on our other foot. One line, one line, and then one, two, three triangles. Now in Keno UX work, she um, makes these really interesting shapes for feathers. And I'm going to make one style, and if you want to make another style, you can. In this style, you take and you draw two lines side by side, and then you put a circle on the top. And then you go and you put two lines side by side, and you make a circle. And you can keep doing that all the way around the head. You can also put them on the undersides of the wings. So you take and you put your two lines and then you put your circle shape. And now we have our basic owl. Now I can go ahead and color my owl however I want with my watercolor markers. And you could use a lot of colors or you might just end up using a few. So maybe I decide to do some color blending where I have one color and I mix in another. Or maybe I decide to use all kinds of colors. So you're gonna do whatever you want now. You are going to color your owl in. Have a fun and beautiful time as you color your owl in. In this one, I'm using blues and purples, but let me show you one that I made earlier. In this one, I used oranges and reds. So you can use any kind of colors you want and color your owl in. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.